We made it. We're alive. Well, they are. <laughs> So I'm on the train. Quentin's back there. And we've abandoned Devon. Room tour. This is it. I'm not part of the room. I don't belong. Feature Quentin. Don't belong here. Feature screen. Going out to the alleyway. They can't see the alleyway. It's just a reflection of me in the window. Yeah, probably. So. And then tiny ass with the bidet. Feature the pajamas we get. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pajamas. But if you don't want to tell me now, I Sarah just called the Tokyo Dome. Roller coaster? Yeah, track? this is technically <laughs> Tokyo Dome City. Tokyo Dome is like right over there, and this whole area is like theme park shopping area around it. Nice. <laughs> Tokyo Station. Tell us a fact about Tokyo Station. Uh, it's the oldest station in Tokyo. Wow. Fun fact. Behold, the same pigeons we have back home. <laughs> <laughs> this vlog is only European architecture and pigeons we have back home. There we go. They're too tall for this. Time to show the vlog some really cool trees. Wow. Uh, they like Aiden, tell me tree facts. <laughs> this is what the vlog wanted, right? No buildings, just fruit. Hey there all you random YouTube viewers. So we are in Tokyo, Japan at the Imperial Palace. Yvonne and Quentin are back there somewhere. We got our bag searched, but it's free to come in. And we've just been wandering around. I learned that you cannot kill spiders here. Well, you can, but you shouldn't. Uh, it's rude. Now I will continue to film, but not necessarily vlog because it's more awkward here. Tea Hey there everyone, it's time for a voiceover because I didn't really give any context before. Yvonne and I flew to Japan just because we haven't been to Japan before, so we wanted to make a trip out of it. And we went to visit Quentin who is already in Japan, so that really worked out. We flew into Tokyo and we spent about two weeks in Japan, which you guys will see later on. For the first full day, we went to Tokyo's Imperial Palace, which is the home of Japan's imperial family, which has been there since about 1869, when they moved from Kyoto, which used to be the capital city of Japan, but now it is Tokyo. The Imperial Palace, since it is home to the family, is not open for people to go wandering around in, but you can go around the gardens. There are two gardens which feature all those trees which I made you guys watch, 
and all of these fish which I'm also making you guys watch. We decided to go to Japan at the very end of November and the start of December, which was just nearing the end of when all of the red leaves were around, but there were still quite a lot. The average temperature was about 15 degrees Celsius in the daytime and about 5 degrees when it hit nighttime, with some variants. And it only actually rained once, so November is apparently a great time to visit Japan if you're not going in cherry blossom season in the spring. So part of a lot of temples and shrines yeah. is uh, like a hand washing station, which is what this thing is over here. You want to do like wash your left hand, wash your right hand. If you guys are wondering what you just watched, that was a wedding procession going through the shrine. Hi, this is Voice Nova Amanda again, here to tell you guys about stamps, which you can find at train stations, shrines, probably other places. I brought my own notebook, but I did not bring my own ink pad, so here's me struggling, trying my best to get as much ink as I can, but it's pretty dried out. Sometimes, like at this shrine, you should give a donation, but sometimes at the train stations, they don't care, they let you do it for free. Well, just because onion soup. Huh? Cooking is what? Wow, look at all these beverages. Look at all these quinces. We're getting on the stretch. <laughs> okay vlog, there's lying down Piplup, or there's sitting up Piplup, which is what I wanted, but I wanted it more in this fabric. I love them all. There's also sleepy Piplup. <laughs> Guys, there's also this little guy. Years. So we are over by the Sky Tree. Uh, went to one of the Pokemon centers, and can I just say that the Torchic Eraser is there? Uh, and now I need to go to a different Pokemon center to find a Torchic. I did get two Piplups though, so it's great. And then I almost accidentally got Aiden chopsticks for $74. So glad that didn't happen. I almost accidentally paid five times too much for a little figurine. So money's not my strong suit yet. It's only day one of actually like being here and spending things. Ah! So what did you get Quentin? Who's that I don't Pokemon? Know. I'm still wrapping the ridiculous amount of plastic off of the Pokemon ball. We'll come back to Quinton in a bit. How'd you like today, Yvonne? It's good. I'm learning lots. <laughs> it's a lot to learn. We get, uh, we get guide Quinton. We get... That's me. 
quest, Quentin. I am the one who tells them where to go and how to not die. Hopefully. Yeah. Transit in Tokyo is like probably the best of any major city. There is buses and trains that will get you anywhere you need to go in this town. This is going to be a really long day one vlog. It's the amount of memory that I'm going to use on my phone and my camera yeah, is the real memories immense. are in our hearts. It's open. Who's that Pokemon? It's Snorlax. It's me. Thank <laughs> you.